You didn't always match tips, and we didn't always have the same temper going from over to it. I'm Max. I'm Kalia. I'm Erdan. I'm Beatrice Akon. Kaylin Shim. Jalen. I'm Nick. I'm Caitlin. I'm Alyssa. I'm Sydney. My name's Alana. I'm Drew. Not I'm Angela. I'm Jillian. <laughs> I'm Bridget. Six years. Yeah, six years. Six years since seventh grade. Six years since seventh grade. We met. Word. <laughs> Since seventh grade. I've also been playing since seventh grade. Yeah, all the same. So six years? Five. Five? Right? Yeah. No, it's five? Six? Six. 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 six? six. I can't six count. Years. Six years. I've been playing the cello for about five years ever since middle school. I've been playing for about nine years. Uh, I've been pl playing since seventh grade. Six years, I think. Been playing for five years. Uh, I've been playing for six years. Six years. Six years. Since seventh grade. Six years. Six years. <laughs> uh, my brother played in the orchestra about like five years ago. And uh, every year I always went to watch him at his concerts. So I wanted to continue his, his tradition. Oh, um, I saw orchestra play at the Future Triton Night when I was in like third grade because my brother was going to middle school and I wanted to play the cello. My mom was really into music and she wanted me to join the band and I wanted to spite her so I joined orchestra instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I started playing because most of my family was in orchestra, like all my cousins were. So, And they also told me that I was too destructive to handle instruments, so I was like proving them wrong. There was no one in our orchestra class who would play the bass, so Mr. Hagen pointed at me. And now I'm here. My grandfather did Hi. mariachi. Um, my elementary school went to East Lake Middle, where the, their orchestra performed, and one of my friends was in it. And then that made me um, uh, play in the orchestra. I joined because I was in the exploring arts class, and they put me in Hagen's class at the end of the year. And then I decided to stick with it. Yo, yo, ma. I just thought bass would be fun. I'm going to UCSD um, as a nano engineering major. I don't know if it'll stay that way. She thinks it's funny. I um, think it's cool. I'm going to UCI as a chem major. Pray for me. I'm gonna die. Thank you. Uh, University of Hawaii. I'm gonna be going to Southwestern, and after that, I have no idea. I wanna go to Southwestern. I'm gonna go to SDSU. I'm going to Cal State San Marcos. My plan after graduation is to attend UCSD and I plan to continue music in the orchestra. I plan to attend UC Berkeley. <laughs> I'm probably going to go to Southwestern for two years and then transfer either to UCLA or CSU Long Beach. I'm double majoring in music with an emphasis in voice and viola. So I'm basically doing the same Southwestern for two years and then transferring to the university. Not sure which one. But two I have in mind is SDSU or UCSD. I'm going to SDSU for mechanical engineering. Southwestern, and then I'm going to go into the military. I'm going to SDSU. SDSU. I think my favorite one is, uh, I think it was my freshman sophomore year, when the Caldera meme page followed me. And that was the most hilarious thing ever. I made like 50 of them. <laughs> I think my favorite memory had it been like freshman year for District Orchestra. We went to Disneyland and we we're trying to find the bus, but we got lost and we we're going to all over like the bus <laughs> stations at Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, this one time, Max, he, he was climbing a yeah. tree, right? And then, like, he got. Like this big like chow mein thing at Penn Express and like the scarf.
favorite. Right, and then like he got he got yeah. caught like. You know, we got caught. We had to we had to call the paramedics. We had to call the oh fire department. We had to call. I had to call I his mom. I had to call his dad. Like, I think all the times you guys would leave early because we were. Yeah, show. I was thinking about that. And eat, <laughs> go to the McDonald's or something. Yeah. Or like after after school, and then there would be district, and then there would be like that random two hour period. That was where, fun. Where people would just kind of like hang out. We'd just go and get district. boba, and then come and walk back, and then do another two and a half hours of orchestra. That was when we were still in district. Or when our bus broke down yeah. after string fest. My favorite memory from orchestra is probably the um, string fest this year. I think we performed really well. So everything. <laughs> Alana and I created a cult at VAPA camp in middle school and one of our leaders, uh, Big Boy, who was from Olympian, stuck a crucifix in another boy's butt. <laughs> Probably the holy babies thing with Miss Glover. Basically we were sitting in district, right? And she was talking about like not playing into the rest. So she was like, don't drop the baby. And so, uh, we were talking about holes for some reason and we started talking about holy babies and then and then I think Angelo thought we meant like holy as in like Jesus Christ and then we realized that Jesus Christ had holes <laughs> Wait, I don't think I told that right but yeah <laughs> I think anything with Caldera, honestly, I feel like he's just like such a goofy guy and every time that we go to class he always says like the most absurd things ever to the point where like I really don't believe that he said those things. Those are One time I was, uh, I was at Knott's Berry Farm with Max out for the Knott's trip and we were doing the bumper cars and his mom like his mom was chaperoning and she knocked his bumper car off the track and the top part, like the top electrical part, got disconnected and started shooting sparks everywhere but he couldn't get out because the bumper cars were still going so he was just off in the corner, people kept bumping into him and every time they did, more and more sparks would shoot out. There's this three minute video of our year when we were advanced orchestra in 8th grade playing Dragon Hunter. We thought it was so good. <laughs> At the end, we all screamed, yeah! You should listen to the video to see if we can find it. It was really bad. Like multiple people in my base locker. I was just me. just to see how many people could fit. Answer is four. So beat that record. Uh, I got the, the, the butt crucifix. Um, a lot of like seeing a dead roach at Mappa Camp and like squishing it. Oh, there was time in school. <laughs> what the duds? Oh, I like how there's that story. Can I say the bad story about that kid? The thing above me. <clears throat> there was a kid pleasuring himself above me at that point. So yeah, that was that. Um, what else? Uh, the cult we made? I loved that. And I loved um, that episode of Spongebob where he cursed and everyone looked at each other. I don't really remember. I liked when Miss Opdahl gave us cookies. I think it was this time in my freshman year. Uh, I always hanged out with uh, Jace and, and Marcelo before District. So I always hang out with them. There was just one time where I just vaguely remember Jace, like, he had a Romanade bottle and he just like smashed it somewhere, I forgot where it was. And then we lost the marble. That, that was our main, that was our main goal. And then we lost it. I liked when Mr. Caldera dressed up for Halloween over quarantine. And then he was playing his organ or piano. It was really fun. It was really fun. Basically, we were at String Fest, I think, the one before COVID. And so we walked into the gym, right? And then as I'm walking, I see this microphone right here. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's on. So I walk up to it, right? And I'm like, ah. And then it just reverberates around the whole gym and everybody starts looking. 
I guess my funniest memory or story about Lokisha is that I've been trying, when I was trying to get the cello out of my parents' car, uh, I took it to the classroom and I found out that the neck of the cello just snapped off. Probably the people. Yeah, the people. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess the people we met, like, we, haven't ha we wouldn't have met if it wasn't for Arkisha. And we've made a lot of friends along the way, older and younger. I love the juniors this year. They're so fun. I love the people, really, and I love playing music. It feels good to, like, vibe with everyone. I like how we get to learn how to, like, play with, like, a group. And we get to like listen, be able to yeah, just play with the group. Yeah, I like the cooperation of all. I think it's really cool that in a way it's like a team and you all work together. I think the community is honestly the best. It's like a little family. Um, I guess the my favorite part about being an orchestra is seeing the progress you make and like the pieces from the beginning of like when you're starting to sight read and then the end product when you perform in the concert. The middle section. Mm. We're the better fiction. <laughs> 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 the better fiction. Um, my favorite part about orchestra is that um you get to play your instrument at least like four hours a week because of class. Join orchestra. Yeah, I keep doing orchestra. It'd be lame if the school didn't have one. Yeah. Just about there will be one. Yeah. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Um, good for you guys for sticking it out. Yeah. Have fun with orchestra. Have fun with orchestra, but don't make it your whole center. Be yeah. Be well-rounded because then you'll have more of a passion and a drive for it. Take your language at Southwestern. You could get it done in six weeks, and you could have like three electives in your senior year if you don't want to take a science class. Enjoy high school while well, it Continue happen. playing orchestra, or continue being an orchestra for a, yeah, playing orchestra, yeah. Continue the whole music thing for a while. You will like learn to love it. Yeah, I think, more. I think it's important to continue music. I feel like there's a lot of benefits from it, so just continue to keep it up. Represent as well. I'd say practice if you, if you really think you need it. Um, <laughs> I would tell them to practice more than they think they need to. <laughs> practice every day, at least one hour. At least, at like, yeah, at least one hour. Just keep playing. Stick with it. Stick with it. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun, make memories. Keep promoting it too. Don't let it die out once we leave. Yeah, keep doing music after high school. Thank you! <laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> no, thank you for being a really cool teacher. We've learned a lot from you. So thank you so much. Yeah. Your story is very We love your very story. Very interesting. Continue the stories. I think to keep saying his harsh words and his harsh opinion is because in the end it really tells you like oh how much you actually need to improve and you realize you do need it those harsh words in the end. Just thank you. <laughs> I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm appreciated to be a student for the last four years because I felt like I improved a lot. Thank you for the memories and for the advice and all the experiences. I don't know, he didn't really leave much of an impression on me in freshman year, sophomore year. But when I came back, I realized that I really appreciated him and his presence. Do you have anything to say to us, Mr. Caldera? we listening. I just say thank you for just being there. And, and actually being a good teacher, because from what I've seen at other schools. Since Matt became, I know I was a goofball. I like I. I wonder if I saw that photo of me praying beneath you, but <laughs> I, I do. Um, thank you very much for like giving me this experience. I've loved every single moment. Watch out. Thanks for helping me deal with my anxiety too, and dealing with all of that crap when I was an underclassman too. I really appreciate it. No.
Shout out Max Ayala. <laughs> Max and Kalia. Max and Kalia forever. No, not Kalia. <gasps> no, I'll tell you, I love Kalia. Okay, Just that. Max. <laughs> Mm, we all collectively agree not to shout out Jesse, so. But then it feels unfair to shout out Kimmy. Shout out to Moniz! Because Moniz is cool and she plays people. Yes! Sophia, Sophia with an F, and Sophia with a PH, and also Faith, and all of the cellos. And I would shout out Jesse, but we collectively decided that Jesse doesn't deserve a shout out. I'm so sorry. And Alana, what a president. I'd shout out you. Yeah. For, for arriving oh. this year and, and complaint, actually standing his ground in the middle. Yeah. Dude, for a second I was like, is it you? <laughs> um, um, <laughs> missing someone. Aiden, he's the only surviving member. And we scan. Yeah. Oh, that's us. Yeah. And the rest of them. I should give a special shout out to Natanya. Oh, Natanya! Natanya! You're not here right now. No, she's that not sucks. here right now. Natanya's funny. Sophia! <laughs> Kira! Shout out to Mia and Anna. Let's shout out to our president, Alana. Alana. And Nico McCray. Tolly. And, and her stand partner, Angela. <laughs> Angela. McCray and the McCrapple, for sure. Oh, yeah, McCray, for sure. And TM, why not? He's crazy. No, so no you can't see him. Shout out to Sophia and Right. <laughs> also, shout out to Miss Glover. Jesse. So no, Jesse's not allowed. Can I mention like Jesse with a fro? Because that was my favorite. Okay, answer. yeah, that's fair. Okay, I don't like the Jesse now. And it's Stasia, I think you're super bright, and I feel like you have a really bright future ahead of you. Yeah, you guys are the future of the viola section. Keep making the viola section the better section. You guys are already making it the better section. <laughs> it is already the better section of you guys, so shout out to you guys. Keep doing it. Grrr! Okay, play. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. <laughs>